Okay, now, now we're starting to record. So, as we look at this, okay, we got this uh, uh, Greek, sh Greek ship runs head on with a Persian vessel. What was the conservation of momentum if the Greek ship was moving? Now, you got to remember this is in water, so uh, the chances of this going at an accelerated rate is probably not very high. So we're probably going to say something along the lines of, we'll say, I think that maybe got the current behind them, and a mass, okay. Try and calculate this out a little bit. It's probably somewhere around, and this is just a guess. So one of the reasons that we're writing these two numbers on here is it's one of the things you do between the old English system, which is pounds and miles. Those are old units. The metric system then has kilometers and kilograms and grams instead. Okay, so the Persian vessel, should be capitalized, okay. Now, one of the things to think about, why do you suppose, why could a ship this big, now this is just a hypothetical situation, why could a ship this big be moving faster than that of the Greek ship? Could be more wind, that's true. N maybe not smaller, someone said it over here. Uh, it could be lighter, that's right, okay. We're going to say uh, ah, we'll put that on the end. Make it a palindrome. Anyone know what a palindrome is? Huh. Write this number backwards. That's the same thing. Whoa, isn't that cool? See, you learn something every day. Yeah. I can't think of that stuff off the top of my head. So, but anyway, yeah, uh, race car. Yes, I've heard of that, but I, I wouldn't be able to do that either. Okay. So, upon looking at this, all right. So, what is, what is the next thing that you should be doing? Because as you're looking at this, you see, even though there's uh, five different numbers, okay. I hope not. Okay. So, th this is what I would suggest that you do. Because this is really two different problems. Okay. So, what I would suggest that you do is do something like this. GS. What do you suppose that stands for? GV or GS. The Greek ship or the Greek vessel. What do we know about that Greek ship? Uh, 
Okay, what else do we know? So then remember P is just the product, all right? So then we come over here for our Persian ship or vessel, okay? And we have a mass and we have a velocity and then we're looking for that momentum then as well. Okay, so we plug these numbers in. We've got a mass of 520002.5 grams, and this one was 8.20. Okay, can someone give me the momentum of the Greek ship? So, what is the Persian? Forty-two million two hundred thousand five. Six hundred forty thousand. Now two hundred and five. So keep in mind that sometimes what happens is just because something has a larger mass doesn't mean that that's always going to have the greater momentum, okay? So now, like you had alluded to, what's the last thing that we want to do with those two numbers? We need to subtract, okay? So ideally... I mean, you can still punch these in. It'll just give you a negative value. You just change it to positive. So our difference is what? Okay. So what you would say is in the Greek ship's path of travel or in the direction of the Persian or in the direction of the Persian ship. Okay. All right. Left outside, are we on the bus? Left middle, are we on the bus? Oh, I, I thought you were biting your thumbnail. That's why, okay. Middle. Okay, right middle. Right outside. When we're on the bus, that just means we understand. Yeah. We do things a little differently here in South Dakota. Hopefully it stands out. See, something that we can laugh about, then we're probably going to remember it. Like perhaps if you keep in contact with some of your friends back in California, check out this guy, our science teacher. He's bald and he talks funny. Okay, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So, all right. So, barring no other questions. Rest of the time then is yours. Are, are, are we good? You have ample opportunities to go through the Science Channel twice, last Wednesday and today. Look at your problem solving quizzes, your worksheets, your vocab. Now, there's no problems tomorrow. It's just your vocabulary and general questions. This type of information is not until Wednesday, all right? Like, for instance, when you look at your, your driving and you look at your dashboard in your speed, what type of speed is that? True. Is it final velocity, instantaneous speed, or what? Instantaneous speed. Questions like that. Okay, so 
if you don't, if you have problems with this, you have that opportunity to come in and talk to myself. All right, catch up to you next time.